All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a few more of these practice problems here. All right, we have one fifth multiplied by one over eight. So we're gonna multiply the numerators. We're multiplying these fractions. So one multiplied by one is equal to one. Five multiplied by eight is equal to 40. All right. Also, I'm gonna take this time to do a few practice problems. All right, let's do one over six times two over three. We do one multiplied by two, which is two. Six multiplied by three, 18. Now we can factor this out. The factors of two are two and one. The factors of 18 are two and nine. The twos cancel out. We're left with one over nine. This is fully simplified. Let's do another problem. Let's do three over five multiplied by two over seven. We multiply the numerators. Three multiplied by two is six. Five multiplied by seven is 35. All right, there's no common factors between six and 35. So this would be fully simplified. Okay, let's do, an, let's do another problem here. Oh, I'm sorry about that, that was a little bit too low. All right, let's, so what I did was three multiplied by two, it got six. Five multiplied by seven, I got 35. All right, let's do another problem here. Let's do this right here in this space. Let's do four divided by nine multiplied by two divided by seven, all right? So four multiplied by two is eight. Nine multiplied by seven would be 63, all right? Let's see, the, the factors of eight are two, four, one, and eight. And neither two, four, or eight are a factor of 63, okay? So this would be fully simplified, all right? So I want you all to look at these problems as practice and solve the, uh, the form that I have posted for you all. All right, thank you.